Party people of Earth, it is I, your your mailman, your mailman du jour, because today you chose that. Um, it does make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. I'm in a nonsensical world. I'm in a big, big world that is nonsensical. So yeah, I've been driving around and it is absolutely, like, not sweltering hot, but like, really good weather. And you wouldn't even know that a week ago there was a century, the storm of the century, with lots of flooding, and like you wouldn't even know. Like here, you wouldn't know. If I drive like half an hour that way, you would, because you know, like it's bad. Although, while I deliver, uh, I see things that you usually wouldn't see. Uh, mostly people's washing machines out in the hallway because here everything is kind of stored or put in the basement. People usually don't have them in the, in the flats. Um, and of course, uh, the smell, which, yeah, it doesn't get better. It doesn't get better. Um, it is still a big problem, and uh, especially in the area where I deliver, uh, it is a big problem because over time, more and more of the uh, regular ground has been sealed by either becoming a parking lot or by people's basements gets extended or just by people building buildings as they do. Uh, so yeah, so basically the water doesn't have anywhere to go, which I guess if you get twice the amount of an entire month's worth in one day, uh, that doesn't, you know, mean a lot, but there's only so much canal can actually help with it. So yeah, it is, um, it is a big problem. So what you also see is, of course, just like piles, piles of furniture on the side of the road. Like I try to like take pictures. I try not to take pictures because, well, on one hand, I just get a camera back because I have a, I have a different phone uh, in my other bag. I just need to set it up. Um, I also don't really feel comfortable taking pictures of people's crap because it was like damaged in it's historical for the centuries I'm like eh, maybe not take pictures of that you know um, but it's like you gotta believe me like there's a these are all like single family homes and they usually have like one container worth like a trash thing worth for like two of them just like stuff to the brim overflowing with like basically anything they have in their basement if they were lucky because there was also another street that I talked to a guy uh, to and his street was so uh, below the normal level that his street was like this much underwater. So his, like the ground floor also completely just like done. And you see carpets, you can see everything. And it's so weird to like drive around and be like, okay, um, this could not have been prevented in some cases. like. I showed you pictures the uh, last week of like half of a town just being like gone but like there is a weather forecast specifically for like I mean there's a weather a forecast for like catastrophes like earthquakes and volcanoes as well as flooding and there is one specifically for Europe which pinpointed the areas and towns that this would happen in and they were right like those were like the ones where now you see that a hundred and I think by now it's 120 130 people are dead and a thousand people are still missing and nobody said anything like they did but here no they just put a warning out not even like a real like flashy thing on the phones it's just like oh it's bad weather uh. like mind you on the day it happened, on the day that you, like, my phone drowned, and I'm actually very happy that the front-facing camera now works again, like, it's a miracle, but, like, on that day, my work didn't tell me, you know, do you have a rain jacket or something? Do you have, like, rain boots? No, not even, not even that. Like, not even, like, it's gonna be a bad rain day, no. <laughs> like, oh, there's a storm of the century coming. Kind of would have liked to know that, you know? Um... Uh, but like, think of all the people that are like, oh, I could have like sandbagged my basement, or did something else, or at least like took take all the stuff out and put it above uh, above ground, 
basic. But yeah, there was nothing. So there's uh, there's, there's a lot of like mismanagement um, that happened specifically for that. And if you look back in time, like over the years, there were floods like this in like basically every corner of Germany. Like there was one in 2014. There was one in 2002 or 2004. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was one in 2016. And it was all, and there's one happening right now in Bavaria. So like every corner kind of like gets it, and it's uh, it's bad, you know. So, yeah. but that was a. So this is my Monday. I still have uh, four more days of work after this one, and I only have 17 days of work until vacation. 17 times I do this, and then I'm on vacation, and I'm I'm just gonna be gone. <laughs> it's gonna be blissful. So good. Anyway. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Good day, mates. Joe Cool is back. It is a wonderful Thursday. Two more days after this of work. Fifteen days of work after this before I'm on vacation. It is a blistering Thursday. 75 degrees, which is lovely. And yet, it is the kind of hot, sweltering sun that makes you rub yourself in hand sanitizer and feel the nanosecond of cooling effects the alcohol dissipating on your skin. Yes, it is uh, actually like I can get this as summer for a month and then and then we're fine, right? Like then, then we're fine and we're going into fall weather. Uh, there's a possibility of wearing a sweater. And uh, I know that the people that I see walking around are already taken up to it because they're walking around with like full-on coats and I I do not get it I as you know I run hot I run really hot so I rarely wear anything um, and it is, it is beyond me how these people are even wearing long pants if they don't have to I do because I'm at work so while I'm also running around like a freaking German flag well you know so it is uh, it is the summer hole of packages, they uh, told us, as in uh, there is like a, a fewer vo volume, less volume in packages, which of course, uh, according to this picture, I say that is a load of hooey. Uh, people just order huge boxes of something and then they're not home, which I don't want to promote the uh, place of my work, but like, there is tracking on it. You can literally see where my car is. Like, you can see where my car is the entire time of the day of delivery. People come up to my car because they know where I am. And you choose to not be home. And, you know, not cool. Especially when it's my second stop and those boxes are just in the car in the way the entire time. But I digress. I'm on my way back to base uh, from the other side of town because I had to go from here to here to deliver some packages because two people are sick and everybody else is on vacation. Speaking of vacation, I'm on vacation soon. Oh god, I can't wait. Oh my god. Like, I know that I was on, the, on a kind of a forced vacation, being sick for a week, but that doesn't really count as relaxing and or anything. Uh, at least not to me. And I've been working since January 15th, since I started, nonstop. And I just need a break. I just need a break. I need it. Uh, I think the the whole uh, vaccination thing, and I talked about it previously, like like collapsing after that was like okay, that was also my body saying, dude, take a hint, okay? So yeah, and then of course that's my second vacation coming up uh, six weeks later, or not because like some things that are being told uh, at work are not to my liking, not at all, and. Uh, Again and again, I bruised the contract where I might have seen something wrong, but so far no, that I will not receive Christmas money because they restructured the uh, contract. So, uh, yeah, I'm two weeks too late. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't see my eye roll there, probably, but um, yeah, so according to the new contract, which is changed uh, right after Christmas of last year, uh, you don't receive Christmas money. Uh, unless you have been there for a full calendar year. Again, I'm two weeks late. So yeah, that, that's still nagging in the back of my head when somebody says like, oh, can you, can you do this extra thing? Can you do 
include that extra thing? It was like, well, you could just hire more people. Or have, like, consequences happen when 18 people call out sick. You know. But that's just me, uh, you know, just having a little experiment with thinking. Um, yeah. But I also think, look, I only do this 15 more times. 22 days of official days. 15 of those at work. And then, you know, you can just, like, kiss my shiny hiney. Because... I will be not available for anybody to come in if something's wrong. So yeah, that's that. That's my rant for today. Uh, I love you all, and I hope you're well. And bye. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. There's a choo-choo train. Ah! There's it. Ah, oh, you can. Okay, maybe in the mirror. No, not really. It's freaking Indiana Jones catacombs here. Ugh. Yep, there's no more, no more room here. No more room. Squeezing yourself through. I am so tired because of reasons that are, uh, well, not unknown to me, but like not relevant right now. They sent us out again. So here's a map of Cologne. That's where the base is, roughly. That's where I usually work, roughly. And then they're like, oh yeah, you need to go out again. And they send us out all the way over here. It's almost not on the map. It's almost not on the map. That's how far I had to drive. And now I'm off of work. Sorry about the rant. I'm still upset that I missed the choo-choo train to show you. I didn't miss it, but it was, it was good. It was a good choo-choo train. Okay. Oh, hi. Uh, pardon me for my general appearance. It's Sunday. And I clearly cannot give a damn. I'm already done cleaning the bathroom and various parts of the house. And now I relax by uh, some ducks. Hopefully you see some ducks. Crows. Uh, with a Döner kebab. Germany's uh, food of choice, I guess. Um, yeah, it is Sunday. I decided to just sit in the park and have some quiet time. Which is a meal. Because, I don't know, I'm not eating enough or work is just too strenuous, so I have trouble keeping or even gaining weight. So this is as, a, as good of an excuse as anything. Well, it is a gorgeous day. This is now on a new camera, because I have my girlfriend's old phone, and the Android will be my backup camera. So let me know if this looks good. Also, if you end up seeing this, uh, it is close to a miracle because I'm trying to navigate the file saving techniques of the iPhone, how to get it onto my Windows computer. The Android is not so much of a hassle because it was copied over with this. I have no idea yet. So I guess we find out together. So I will leave you on the Sunday with me having a good old chomp. Oh, this is Turkish Street. Don't know why I'm only eating the salmon. Very good. I leave you with some duckies. And have a good day, y'all. Look, there's a plane. I'll, I'll be on one of those. I'll be on one of those. Can't believe it. I'll be on one of those in 19 days. Very exciting. Very exciting.